All right, we've got a steel line SD800 sectional door opener. When you press the remote, nothing happens, or on the rear of the motor, it seems to be doing something, but the motor doesn't make any sound or movements. How can we fix this? Well, this is usually because the travel limits are not set correctly. Travel limits regulate the points at which the door will stop when moving up and down. Without these, the motor will not run. So let's go ahead and set the limits on this SD800 motor. So making sure the power is on, hold down the P button for six seconds to initiate process programming. You'll see LED 2 will begin to flash. Now it's important for you to know where the chain index is located. If your garage door is already locked into the chain, then you're ready to go. If your door is in manual operation, then follow this next step. So we need to get the chain index right here locked into the door carriage. While LED 2 is flashing, we can use the plus and minus buttons to move the chain in the open or closed direction. We're going to press the minus button, which is the close button, and move the chain index inside of the door carriage. Now we've got the door locked into the motor, we can now press and hold the plus button, which is the open button, to move the door to the desired open position. Now I suggest you only go as high as necessary, don't go too much further than the garage opening. At this point, you can make slight adjustments with the plus and minus buttons until the door is at your desired position. Next, press the P button once to save the open position. LED 4 will begin flashing, which means the open position is now programmed. Next, press and hold the minus button to bring the door down to the desired closed position. So the same thing, at this point, you can make slight adjustments using the plus and minus button until the door is in the desired closed position. The ideal position is just to squash the weather seal slightly into the floor if you over close the door, it's not great for the chain or the motor. When you've got the door at the ideal closed position, press the P button once to save that closed position. And immediately after pressing the P button, the door will travel up to the open position and then back down to the closed position to automatically set the operating force. Now once the door has closed for the final time, the limits are now programmed. LED 3 will remain on, indicating that the open is now in normal operating mode. Job done, beauty. I'm that Roller Door bloke, thanks for watching.